Welcome. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Tris Brina Show. And today, the big question is, have you turned on your automatic update switch? Have you switched it the on? The switch that you turn on no. when you want to automatically upgrade. And we're going to talk to you today about how to figure out, have you turned that on and why you would want to? Keep it turned on to upgrade your life. Well, this is episode number 24, if I've got it right. Can you believe it? Yeah. I Time stopped, just I flows. stopped counting, just like my age. <laughs> right around 24, just stopped. <laughs> my mom was 35 forever. <laughs> and a shout out to my mama. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Happy mom. Happy birthday. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. Come on in. Say hello. Hi, Carol. We see you here. Trish Brina Show is coming at you live. We love sharing about life, about the body, and about the business. So today, it's all about the business of switching on that automatic update. Right, because update, upgrade, um, taking your life, your body, and your business to the next level, it's cross-platform. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. in every area, right? Maybe it's in a relationship that you're like, right. you know what? We can really take this to the next level, and that's going to mean different things to different people. Or your health, your vitality, or your business, or your finances. It's that that desire that that we have, and we know that you have. I can. I want to be more. I want to be the best version of myself. I want to constantly be saying yes to the upgrades that are available. Because if you're not, then then I would be saying no thanks. I'd rather not be fully my potential. No thanks. I'd rather not be the best version of me. Yeah, and no thanks to that. <laughs> Well, friends, we're live right now if you're watching the replay. Awesome, awesome. A couple quick things you should know. If you're on Facebook, we'd love it if you like the page because that way we can stay connected with you. There's even one more layer. When you look in the corner of this video live, there's these three little dots. If you click on those, you can click notify me of the next Trisprina show. How cool is that? Yeah, and definitely. And if you're on YouTube checking this out, subscribe to our page so we can stay connected. In other okay. words, do something. Do, do some something to like us, okay? Click the button. <laughs> Here they come. Hi, Amy. Hello, Carolyn. Teja is joining us. Beautiful. I see Margaret is here. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, feel free to contribute in the conversation if you're with us live because this should be a juicy one. So, And I see some of the people piping in live are actually coming to join us in oh, Austin. Oh, that's right. Um, it's mid-October now and we have a live event here that early bird tickets are still available if you'd like to come. There's a two-day event, November 16, 17 and a two-day event, 1819. Yep. And one is really about your life, is about your life force. We'll be doing a lot of Qigong, very deep meditation and spiritual realization work. Yes. And really having that hands-on experience in a small group of about 30 people. And then the second event that has the early bird 50% off ticket still is all about your business. So when you, if you come and join us for that, we're going to help you really get clear on what problems you solve, who it is you want to serve, how to make offers where people say yes because they have the problem that you solve and they're actually looking for you, and how to communicate that easily and effortlessly face-to-face, -face, over the phone, in a video, on a sales page, whatever works for you. And you actually go home with two of your scripts in hand. One will be a really short one. When you meet someone, you can very quickly let them know the problems that you solve. And then one that is a template that we use whenever we're making an offer that really helps people to understand what that invitation is. Beautiful. And I just popped the um, the link in there for you guys. And if you're not live, it's satorimethod.com forward slash. Big life. All right. So Sabrina posed this to me the other day. She said. I posed it like so a Vogue model. You, you know when I'm posing. <laughs> <laughs> and I get this little notification on my phone, and I'm going to show you all what that notification is in just it a really, second. It really made me laugh when I saw what he's going to show you in a little bit. Well, it's coming up right oh, here. It's coming. It's coming. It's so, it's so close. So when you look on your screen, you'll see... I'll put it in the middle of this. There we go. So, do you want to read it? Uh, automatic <laughs> <read> updates. It. <laughs> Install software updates overnight after they have been downloaded. So that means if you check that little box, this is on the um, iPhone, right? Mm -hmm. And I imagine they have it on the Android phone too. It says you will receive a notification before updates are installed. And then your iPhone must be charging. Charging. And connected to Wi-Fi yes. so that you can complete the update. That's right. And what's 
I just, it really made me laugh and we'll go into it a little deeper that that's optional, right? Like we were just talking about earlier, like the, the part of us that goes, oh, no, no, I don't want to change. I want to stay the same. I, I know that I need to expand. I need to grow. I need to exercise, but I just want to stay the way I am. I'm going to keep that button turned off so that I don't upgrade into the better and better versions of myself. It's actually an option. It's totally an option. Yeah, you don't have to upgrade. You can stay the same. Yeah. You can use the old software and you can use yeah. the old phone. So let's talk about this. You need yeah. to be charging the device. So here we go. Here's a phone and you need to have it plugged into the wall, right? This is an analogy. We're really not teaching you technology right now. <laughs> if you're only listening to this show, I'm holding an iPhone 10 in my hand. And yeah, I have want, a charging do you, plug. Do you want the 11? Oh, come on. Look at the difference. Hers is so much bigger. I upgraded. <laughs> In fact, let me take this off the screen here. So what we're understanding is it's not a good idea to Just do so, an update. in case you didn't see, size doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. If, <laughs> that's what she said. Okay, get back <laughs> on track here. If you don't plug it in and connect it to the wall, the phone, the device, just like us, we need the energy, it doesn't hold the charge and the update won't go through correctly. So that's one important it's concept. Not, it's not available to the upgrade if it isn't charged in, if it isn't receiving that energy, if it isn't connected. It can try to do the upgrade, but it may fail because mm -hmm. it doesn't have enough juice, okay? And so that's one thing. Here's something important as well. What if you don't have the right cable. What if your cable's uh -oh. old or the wrong one and it doesn't fit? He's trying to use my Apple Watch cable on the phone. Not going to work. You know those mm -hmm. other cables that are, you know, like the old ones, they don't fit in here yeah. anymore? You've got to get the upgrade cable, right? You know, so, it's kind of funny. If you say no to upgrades, life is going to kick you in the butt because they're going to change the end of the cable and be like, oh, force you, you. you must upgrade. Life will wake up, call your butt into upgrades. It's going to have, we all know, raise your hand when you're like, I was resisting, I was resisting. Life came with, whack. Yeah. Like, I better wake up, right? I better upgrade. So we've got to be plugged into the wall and we need the Wi-Fi connection. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the Wi-Fi, can't reach you. The invisible Wi-Fi. The invisible. I like to say the connection to the non-physical. Yes. The connection however you want to call it, that connection to source, that connection to love, the connection to the universe, the connection to the non-physical part of yourself. Exactly. So I was laughing when she told me about this. I'm like, oh my gosh, though, there's a lot of truth in this. So we teach moving meditations, Qigong, and we sometimes liken the practice to these energy channels in the body that are like conduits that the energy can flow through. They're like mm -hmm. cables. And if the cable isn't plugged into the chi, to the life force, you lose your charge. The battery of the body, if you will, will become so depleted, the life force will be drained away and you will expire, right? So we've got to keep the charge Run going. Run out of charge. The battery dies. Like, oh, well, in this upgrade phone process we're talking about, we need to have a direct connect to life force. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have a practice of some sort in your life that's charging you up. Like sleep. Sleep, good food, hydration, things we've talked about mm -hmm. recently. Pretty much our, our seven daily rituals that we spoke about on a previous episode. All of those things are to, to keep you charged. Meditation, good water, uh, food that's rich in nutrients, sleep, and movement. And <clears throat> if you take care of the body, it's like a battery that can receive that charge when it's plugged in. The energy comes in like it does to the phone and it goes into the battery, which is needed to create function. Mm -hmm. So we must have a healthy body temple to be able to hold that charge. But then we were talking about this upgrade switch and you said it was a choice. Yeah. You don't have to turn it on. Mm -mm. So that's a part of the mind. Yeah, I think that's I that to me is very much like the conscious mind because I get to choose each and every moment. It, it isn't like the phone where you go into settings and you, you flick it to auto update and it just stays there. You know, with the human version of that yes to the upgrade, to me, it's the yes to love. It's the yes to expansion. It's the yes to I want to be a channel of co-creation 
Yeah. I want to be aligned with source. I want my life to be about service. That yes happens every single moment. So it happens in conscious thought when I find myself thinking something that doesn't feel good. Maybe the, the mean girl inside my head is having some things girl. to say about me. Or maybe the mean girl in my head is having something bad to say about him. I don't like the yeah. mean girl. <laughs> yeah, there's those voices, those not enough voices, those judgmental voices that um, seem so normal until you start listening to them. Like somebody was saying the other day, this whole thing about, oh, it's after Labor Day. You can't wear white. And so, she was wearing white. How dare who, she? Who cares? Who cares? Oh, and it wasn't winter white. Like, just pick, 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 pick. Like, <laughs> Let's have an opinion about yeah, the opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's okay if you <laughs> don't want to wear white after judgment. Labor Day. And if you do, it better be winter white. But don't be mean about it. And just catching all those thoughts and moving it to... Um, Thoughts of, that must make her feel really beautiful. She must love white. Oh, it's kind of angelic. I can see why she would really love to, to wear white. And so, Or, good for her. She doesn't care about the rules her grandmother's grandmother, grandmother passed on. We're talking about the conscious mind conscious right now. Conscious mind. The mind that has choice. Is this, making, this case, making sense to you guys that are here live? It, in this case, or in this particular analogy, we're saying this little button right here, that little green button, that's a choice button. You can either have the update or not. Yeah. If you're in the judgment, the complaining, the disconnection part of the mind, you're turning the button off. If you're in a yes to life, a yes to upgraded life, you've got the button on. So that's based on choice. But then there's something else. If we want it to stay on and we want to keep choosing on, which mm -hmm. really this is a set it and forget it setting, we want the deeper mind to be on board. And that's the mind of habit. So forming good habits through mm -hmm. repetition, through emotional alignment. Awareness. Through, yeah, awareness and upgrades, mm -hmm. new stories, yeah. right? Actually, it, the rituals would be considered habits. If you have a habit yeah. of taking 10 or 15 minutes every morning for gratitude or journaling or meditation or prayer, if you have a habit of every day, I take a walk. We were just spending some time in Marina Del Rey with Natalie Ledwell, and she had a house guest uh, named Morningstar, and Morningstar was 70? I'm not sure of Morningstar's age, but yeah. I think she said she was in her 70s, and she said, I start walking every morning before the sun comes up, and I walk an hour to two hours as the sun rises, and I've done that for years, and I thought, how beautiful that that's her habit, that she walks in gratitude and prayer and reflection of her life as each day is given to her with the sunrise, but she chooses to do that every day. So it's a conscious choice to be in gratitude, but it's also a habit. It's part of the subconscious. It's part of who she is. Um, I would just want to put this on the screen for a moment to say thank you to Rita. Um, it's a total <laughs> coincidence. I don't even know how that happened. Just, uh, it was a fluke, Rita. It was total fluke. <laughs> Not. <laughs> so here's the juicy part. If we've got... Let, Only Rita. Rita's my mom. Thank you, Rita. Let's do a review. Our mom. Okay, our mom. So, which would sound weird to people because they think we're um, brother and sister, but we're certainly not. Okay, we have our device. We want an upgrade. We go inside. We click the button on Choose. Conscious thought. I choose upgraded living. Okay. I choose love. I choose to co-create. Now, the device says, okay, when you're ready for the next upgrade which is going to be piped in through this ether <laughs> called a Wi-Fi signal, you're going to get the new version of you. Yep, you're aligned. You're aligned to Source, and Source says, let's do this. But in order for you to receive this upgrade, your device, in this case your body, needs to be charged in two ways. The battery needs to be able to hold the charge, good working device, and it needs to be plugged in. So now we've got the plugged in life force, Food, sleep, chi, all that goodness. Healthy body that is holding the charge. Final step, make sure the button for the Wi-Fi is not only turned on, but it's connected to the channel, right? Because everybody has their particular address that says, put the information, the Wi-Fi information in this device. Now we're talking source here, and we're talking soul upgrade. In my estimation, 
there are multiple upgrades that this soul is having in this life. The soul is the soul is the soul. I mean, it is one with source and all that is. But me, Tristan, I'm getting ready to be able to receive the upgrade. That's known as a Satori. Our company is Satori Method, which means you're having this upgraded life. And you have these big ahas at different times, different phases. Think back to when you were a kid, I don't know, kindergarten, and then junior high or high school. Look at the different versions of you. The 1.0, the 2.0, the 3.250, right? Like there's all these upgrades that are taking place. It's what uh, really Yogananda, if you're familiar with Paramahansa Yogananda, who wrote Autobiography of a Yogi. He had the self-realization fellowship, temples, his yeah. self-realization temples. It's all that it's that self-realization. That's what that upgrade is. It's like, I love that you said source is source is source is whole. It's about this self-realization of being more and more in that and allowing more of that. And so when you are ready, whatever that looks like, life lessons, things you've been letting go of, things you're saying yes to, taking care of yourself, connecting through whatever practice you love that connects you to that source of all. When you're ready, bang, a new improved version of us happens. I mean, think about how different you are today compared to in your past. I was realizing, oh my gosh, through the different practices we do, I'm a completely different human. Mm -hmm. I have had so many beautiful upgrades through conscious choice and practice in this life. It's like when I'm ready, but I have to make myself available to it. The mm -hmm. Wi-Fi's got to be on, and I've got to be allowing that signal yeah. to come in. And sometimes you don't even know when it happens, right? right? Because I, I have that button turned on on my phone, using the phone analogy, and I went to send a text message, and all of a sudden there's these extra like emojis, but they look like me. It's like me blowing a kiss and me doing all these things that were just added. I'm not sure when they were added. I don't recall asking for personalized emojis, but there they were. A there they were just, just given to me to yeah. play with and explore. And I feel like that's what happens in life when we live our life from from a yes to, a, to an expanded version of ourself to be, some, it's not to be more than what we are, it's just to be what we are. Totally. Right, and I think that that can be really confusing because some people can say, "Oh, I don't want to be more than I am. That would be like pompous." No, it's just to be who you are and to stop pretending to be less. Stop copping out. That's stop true. playing a half-ass life. Yeah, right? just yeah. upgrade it. Damn it! <laughs> Come on already. And that's why sometimes you'll <laughs> run into somebody and it, they'll say something and you'll be like, "I was just saying that." Oh, what was that? Oh. I just, I was reading something to Tristan or I said something to him. We got in an Uber. And oh, well, I know. Like, like, what, you just said eight, a little eight statement. Eight seconds, like, the Uber driver turned around and, and quoted whoever I had quote. just quoted. He said the exact same thing. It was thing like the name of a song. It was just like a little <laughs> ditty. And, and we're like, okay. And we laugh Laugh. because there's just like, there's synchronicity in moment. that moment. It's like the energies are playing and when you when you notice those things it's life is so much fun and that's the energy to me of the upgrade the the, the playfulness being in on it knowing that every person that i meet it isn't an accident everything that i say and so the way somebody responds and the exact synchronicity of life is because that button is turned on because i'm consciously saying yes 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 play with me who shall we meet today there are so many incredible upgrades waiting to happen for all of us. And we don't need to have a bump on the head to get an upgrade. Sometimes that does nudge us over the edge, mm -hmm. as we all know. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can deliberately choose the upgrade through the practices. We love meditation just because when you can quiet the mind and just slip into the moment and allow the feeling of the breath to breathe you, and this stillness takes place and there are different tools and techniques to go into the back of the brain and just, I don't want to go totally there today, but there's this inner awakening of energy that pops, if you will. It fully becomes realized in the brain as well as in the heart, the brain of your being. But these 
inner knowings take place, these insights that are beyond the intellect alone. They are complete upgrades. And so we're worthy of them for no reason at all, but mm -hmm. we do have to make ourselves available to them. And so I was teaching this morning meditation and I was really trying to do a sales pitch on everybody, like work the craft, practice, because there's so <laughs> much treasure. You were selling them on I taking time selling them on <laughs> taking time to meditate, no matter how busy we get. No, you know, was there an early bird special on now? It was free. It was just free. <laughs> it's always free. It's always turned on. It's just, are we tapping into it? Anyway, so I did my sales pitch on the power of meditation because my experience, I'm so grateful that there's the ability to quiet this noisy, crazy freaking mind that sometimes shows up for me. Mm -hmm. And I am able to go past it and into this direct connect. But one other thing that's interesting that I want to throw out is sometimes, and this has definitely been my experience and maybe yours as well, your body temple, which is like a device, it is an older version of you. And the new version of you is ready to be downloaded into you. Your soul is ready to upgrade. But something in the mind, the programming, the old way of living, the old way of being will not allow that upgrade to happen. It's usually a fear. The old phone cannot work with the new operating system. Mm -hmm. They're not compatible. And sometimes we are so ready for more, but we're in a non-compatible habit, a non-compatible way of thinking, and the upgrade can't take place until yep. we let it go and invite the new. Yep. Yeah? You may have noticed that if, you have an up, say you have a cell phone and you haven't gotten a newer version and you're trying to install the new software, the old, old phone, like right now was we're on the iPhone 10, like the iPhone four, supposedly it's, it's hardly working. It take, you press the button and then you can like go make some coffee and come back. It takes so long for <laughs> yeah, it to work because it, work. it doesn't have the innards <laughs> to work the new software it doesn't have all the pieces and it so that's what you were comparing that to there's a habit that's keeping it and when you let go of that habit then you're the iphone 6 and you're going to go a lot faster it's so fun and it's optimized for who you are right so the new phone uh, with the new software the battery lasts longer so much longer the applications load faster the internet connection just seems to be better. It's more functional. You can find things faster. Like everything's always evolving and improving. So if we're sitting around bitching about how things are staying the same, and I'm always stuck with the same, <laughs> right? That's just old software. It's old programs. It's an old operating system and we're ready for more. So ask yourself, look yeah. into your life and go, where might I be holding on to an old operating system mm -hmm. or not giving myself the room to grow into what I deserve yeah. and what I'm worthy of? And it, it makes sense that sometimes we, we don't want to expand and grow because whatever we've True. been doing True. feels familiar. And the human condition is whatever feels familiar feels right. If you start walking with a one hand tied behind your back, I don't know what it'd be tied to if it was just one hand, but just, just go with How it. How about to your belt? <laughs> and you are used to only using one arm. That's going to feel really normal. And normal feels right. And then when somebody unties that, it'll be like, it's just weird having that extra appendage. I don't know what to do with it. Just because it's different. So sometimes there there's definitely that overlap where the, the new habit has to overtake the old habits so that the conscious brain can go like, this is so much better, right? And then if you try to go yeah. back to the one arm behind your back, you're like, no way. Like the rotary dial phones with the cord, right? People <laughs> right? are like, I don't Talk want to change. I don't want a cordless phone. And what if, what if we tied you back to your phone and you could only walk so around true. the kitchen with that curly phone? Why do we think that we have to, you know, stay in this one track? Because it's well, this scary. Is... You, we're afraid we'll look stupid. We're afraid what people will say. We're afraid um, we won't be good at the new thing. Okay, so all those reasons. And then? <laughs> right. Lean in. Say yes. Try it on. It's see what it. happens. It's so worth it. I know, like, 
uh, this is a fun analogy, right? Some of you are saying this is really helpful and you get it. I love analogies because they can bring insights. And that's all we're trying to do here is bring inspiration, insight, little nuanced ways of looking at things. And you can have a light bulb. You can have a Satori and you're like, oh, true. I need to work on my charging cable, right? I think mm -hmm. I've got the wrong appendage. <laughs> I'm not working my, in this case, Qigong or my Reiki or my yoga or what have you. Right, so look at it from these different lenses. A quick mm -hmm. review. You gotta have the switch turned on. That's a choice. Use your conscious mind to say yes to more. So every time you're feeling uncomfortable or irritable or find yourself complaining, just go, Oh, I must have turned off my switch. Turn off that switch. Let me go turn that go switch check. on. <laughs> the next is that you are consistently saying yes to automatic upgrades and updates. You deserve mm -hmm. them. So make it a habit. Check your charging cable. Are you moving your body? Are you connecting to that beautiful life force energy that you deserve? And are you eating clean and sleeping so that the body's battery can charge? But ultimately, ultimately, with those things, have you got your Wi-Fi connection tuned in, dialed in, so that you're able to receive the upgrade? And it'll happen when it happens. You know, When the new one comes out, you'll be first in line. So here's our mascot. We had a request for the mascot to make an appearance. <laughs> one of our mascots has made an appearance. This one's not camera shy. <laughs> well, hello, mister. Is your tongue hanging out? Mwah. So let us know your thoughts on this analogy. We hope that this is, you know, giving you some more perspective on how to really take care of yourself to move into the new, improved, upgraded version of this beautiful life that we all get to have. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So it's date night here. For Trish Brina, we always love to schedule that in. It's the automatic update switch is turned on. It's the automatic date night switch. It's the automatic date night <laughs> switch. We don't know where we're going today. We're going to make it a mystery. Sabrina loves mysteries. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. And if you want to come to Austin, the Southwest is having some really great sales. Uh, half price early bird special you can just come for two days to work on life force or and or come for two days for us to help you with your business it'll be a really small group of 30 people or less and if you have any questions just reach out did you just talk about the big life i did oh, okay cool sorry i was just putting <laughs> joe's post on i love this she said so what i needed to hear this morning letting go of an old habit is definitely holding back from the upgrade that's so right on. Yeah. It can just be that little thing when we drop it, mm -hmm. the automatic update just yep. goes right through. Because then the hand is open to receive. Awesome, awesome. All right. Well, thank you for being part of this beautiful community. We're so grateful to get to spend this time with you. Um, again, if you're on YouTube watching this, subscribe to the page because we have all kinds of goodies that come through. And if you're on Facebook, give us a like and click the little three buttons and say notify me and that way you'll never miss a Trish Brina show. Ooh. Bye for now. Yeehaw. This was the Trish Brina show. Episode 24.